So then we had to we had to dismantle the reef. We had to rent barges and, and bring out these structures. And at the end of the day, the oysters ended up in a dumpster, which is ridiculous. Like 50,000 oysters in a dumpster. Hey, New Jersey, I'm here on one of my favorite out of the way corners of New Jersey to talk about a topic that is near and dear to my heart, my favorite food oysters. This is the story of how on one side of the Hudson River the oyster is being hailed as a hero with more than a billion of them being released into the wild and on the other side of the Hudson River as you just saw 50,000 wound up in a dumpster. The oyster an outlaw. You know, if you know much about the history of the New York and New Jersey region, you know that oyster reefs before they were killed off by overfishing and pollution used to be everywhere in the New York Harbor estuary, places like here, Raritan Bay, the bottom was like one just solid oyster reef. And it could and should be again. That's the takeaway from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers who just finished a massive two-year study following Hurricane Sandy and listed restoration of oyster reefs as a way to prevent future disasters in places like this. Maryland and Virginia have active oyster restoration programs to help clean up Chesapeake Bay. And since Hurricane Sandy, New York has been going full bore there's more than a dozen oyster restoration projects, including one called the Billion Oyster Project, and another which got $60 million in federal Hurricane Sandy recovery aid. They want to build a wall of oysters across the south shore of Staten Island. One of the planners did a TED talk about the project. Now I want to introduce you to my new hero in the sort of global climate change war, and that is the Eastern Oyster. So proud New Jerseyans, victims of Hurricane Sandy and lovers of the oyster, what is our state doing on this front? Well, we've banned them. Yeah, we, we've banned oysters. The ban applies to oyster restoration projects in waterways considered polluted, including Raritan Bay and the waters of New York Harbor. The two reef projects underway in Red Bank and Keyport were ordered pulled from the water five years ago. You know, like if we didn't take out the reef, we were going to start getting fined um, every day that we had the reef in. Here's what happened. DEP staffing levels are very much depleted and officials said they just did not have the resources to patrol all the shellfish beds in New Jersey, including the bigger working oyster operations in South Jersey. They were worried now that poachers might steal the oysters growing in polluted waters, someone might eat them and get sick. They are not, a DEP spokesman told me, risking people's health by possibly having one of these oysters enter the marketplace. So yeah, they're so concerned with seafood poachers sneaking up in a boat and pulling oysters, most of them too small to sell, out of reinforced rebar cages and then selling them to someone who might get sick, that they have put the kibosh on what scientists say is one of the best ways not only to protect the shoreline, but to clean the dirty waters that need are too dirty for oysters to grow in to, to you figure this out. Now to see an oyster restoration project that is up and running, I went to a place where there is not so much concern over this type of criminality. Where might such a bucolic Eden be, you ask? The Bronx. Just across the Bronx River from the Hunts Point Market, where most of the area's seafood happens to pass through, New York, New Jersey Baykeeper is working to get an oyster reef growing. Aren't New York officials worried about the seafood pirates? Apparently not. The oysters here are just growing unchecked. Hey, look at these guys. Farmed oysters along with wild oysters, some of them just growing on top of trash and tires. It's crazy. Now I should add here that the DEP did eventually relent a little bit and allow Baykeeper to plant some oysters out there. The new project site, U.S. Naval Weapons Station Earl. So it seems the only place we can safely allow oysters in Raritan Bay is within firing range of U.S. Navy gunships. And there is one small glimmer of hope for our beloved bivalve in these parts, a bill on the New Jersey legislature that would lift the ban on educational and research-based oyster gardens. Bill has not made it out of committee. Until then, New Jersey's oyster madness continues. Take it easy, Jersey.